Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode of Minecraft 5x5 with Triple Dog Dare. And we're going to get right into it today. Now, this build isn't really doable in survival. Um, seeing as it requires an end portal, you can do a slightly larger of this a slightly larger version of this using a oops a normal end portal but um, if you can get yourself somehow an end portal block this will work so as you can see we've got this little casing here with our dispenser oh, dang. hang on There we go. Then, back here we've got our repeater clock with two ticks on each repeater. Now, what this actually is, is this is an end cannon. This is a player launch cannon that shoots you with the dispenser completely full about Oh, 26,000 blocks in the air. So then you place your end portal in there. And what I'm going to do to start this is flip that lever really fast. Now, I'm going to fill it with all this TNT. I'm going to cut the video and come back when it is done. So see you in a mo. Alright guys, I am back. Our end can is completely charged up as you can see so I can now turn it off by overloading it. <laughs> and I am going to use oh my I have to turn off damage so that I don't die instantly because this is nine stacks of TNT. Now you may have heard the rumor that no amount of simultaneously de detonated TNT in the same place can kill a player in time and armor. Well, at about nine stacks, that no longer applies. That's about as far as I've tested, anyway. So, I'm going to jump in with damage disabled. We're going to get a huge lag spike, and I'm going to go flying. So, got my debug screen. Watch the Y value over on the left. Ready? And in we go. Immense lag spike. And kablooey. Hit 20,000, still going up. 26,000 blocks. And that's about as far as it goes, and then you start going down again. Now, it is going to take about five minutes to come back down, maybe. So, I'm going to cut the video till I get back down. Okay, guys, we are back. We're about to hit 5,000 blocks up in the air. And we're coming down pretty dang fast. So, shouldn't be that long before we hit the ground. Oops, I moved. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's not even a full block, so... We should fall pretty far and then hit the ground and die instantly because I turned damage back on. 3,000 blocks. 2,500. Two thousand fifteen hundred blocks, one thousand blocks. The Ender Dragon is in view, five hundred blocks, and two hundred, one hundred. We're seeing the ground, and boom. So that is the end cannon. Immensely powerful machine. Completely insane. 
and this thing is just seriously I mean I am not kidding um, in total including the times that I was cut out of the video that took about 10 minutes about maybe five minutes to get it primed and then five minutes to come back down ish so yeah that's some pretty insane launch in fact that may have actually taken closer to 15 minutes total including mess ups of recording so yeah that is some serious launching power if you need to get up 26,000 blocks in the air for some reason this little thing here is probably your best answer how it works is the TNT goes through the end portal which resets its fuse to a very low amount of time but since it's in the end it stops until you actually go to the end so all the TNT detonates at exactly the same time a little bit of a trick to get all the TNT to ex explode at exactly the same time with very large amounts of TNT in a very small cannon like this. Now, real quick, I'm going to go in and see how much terrain damage it did. Not actually that much. It honestly did not do really any terrain damage at all because its blast radius, though powerful, is only equal to that of a normal single TNT blast because well they're all in exactly the same place it's an extremely powerful explosion could probably even kill the ender dragon if it was right there but it does not have a very large blast radius so, yeah, that was the end cannon in Minecraft 5x5. Please note that this cannot be done in survival unless you're willing to simply make it into kind of a peripheral sort of thing and attach it to a normal end portal. Otherwise, you have to hack to get the end portal block so that you can, you know, use it. But that is all for this episode. See you next time. Later.